My last video was about the seemingly last keyboard smartphone on this planet, the Titan Pocket. That is until an Indiegogo campaign told me otherwise. Two of them, actually. The FX Tech Pro 1X and the Astro Slide from Planet Computers. Now, it's not the BlackBerry sequel we've all been hoping for. In fact, far from it. But I do think they might bring some interesting ideas to the table. And there's a the problematic ones. Look, obviously I'm not the early bird on this one, as this campaign has been going on since 2020. And it's not the first time the team at FX Technology and Planet Computers made a name for themselves. These are both second and third attempts at reinventing, or in this case, re-inviting the concept of a QWERTY smartphone. So, crowdfunding should be the least of your worries. Then, what is? First, the FX Tech Pro 1X. As the name 1X suggests, it's more of a small upgrade than a proper sequel. The design is basically identical to that of the FX Tech Pro 1 first showcased in 2019, with the same satisfyingly strong hinge mechanism for the five rows keyboard. But besides the sapphire blue color job, of course, which maybe explains the smaller number of backers at around 1,700, uh, less than half of the backers for the Astro Slide. It's only when you look inside can we see the excess novelty. Gone is the outdated yet heavy Snapdragon 835 giving way to a more efficient 662 with 6 to 8 gigs of RAM depending on your preference. Now Android has been a staple for basically all smartphones without the Apple logo, but there are alternatives out there, mainly in the form of Linux, with Lineage OS and Ubuntu as its forerunners. For those of you that don't know, Lineage OS is a successor to Cyanogen, once a pretty popular Android ROM, and Ubuntu is a popular Linux distribution for PCs. And this phone supports at least one of them out of the box. Wait a minute, isn't that more of a flaw? Well, they're definitely not for most of us. But you can run many Android apps or clients through some workarounds. And these operating systems do come with perks such as being able to perform better on older hardware and actually some reliable software support, according to the description at least. And if all of this sounds too much to you, you can always opt for the good old Android 11, albeit with presumably less reliable security patches. See, this is why I really do hope they manage to include the dual boot functionality. It, it's the best of both worlds. This feature for now though is still TBD ATM with shipping due in August. The other keyboard smartphone is the Astro Slide 5G. It's a completely different form factor from the company's last two attempts in making a PDA slash smartphone hybrid. Now the identity still remains here, but instead of a clamshell, they went with a display that slides open to reveal a full mechanical keyboard. Now my concern to this is that the hinge mechanism does not seem to be spring loaded, and since the keyboard is basically the same dimensions as the smartphone, you might really have to dig your thumbs up to fully slide it open. And unlike the FX Tech Pro 1X, this device is still in its prototype phase, with Gemini reporting that the prototype dubbed as T0 will be released soon, and the T1 in June 16th. If the T1 shows no defects after the production tech samples PR1 and PR2, it can finally begin shipping to consumers. So while it's not likely to meet the company's June deadline, in fact, far from it, the Astro Slide has multi-boot and in my opinion is a slightly better value than the FX Tech Pro 1X. But this is just me. In no way am I a Linux or security expert. And before these devices come out, there is no definitive argument that can be made here. I'm just a person who's glad to bring you the news that more keyboard smartphones are on its way in 2021. That's it for this video. If you've stayed till the end, big thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.